and killing of livestock, wanton felling of trees, and the setting of the plantation on fire was a stark reminder to this community of the unfortunate and devastating happenings of 2007-2008 ethnic animosity. The madness, the madness that brought Kenya on its knees. Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Yuleno TV. I'm glad you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, today was the third day of Raila Morodinga's peaceful demonstrations. But today is again the same day that we saw the Kikuyu Council of Elders come publicly to denounce Nidi Nyoro, Kimani Chungwa, Rithigadi Gachagwa, and I think another leader regarding what was done on Monday, the second day of Manda Malons. And that is in specific reference to the event of Northland City. So before we get further into this analysis, I would like you to take a moment and listen to what the Council, Kikuyu Council of Elders said. Just stick by and listen to this video. <laughs> and killing of livestock, wanton felling of trees, and the setting of the plantation on fire was a stark reminder to this community of the unfortunate and devastating happenings of 2007-2008 ethnic animosity. The madness, the madness that brought Kenya on its knees. The attempt to take over and subdivide the land is a discouraging signal to any investor, both local and foreign in this country. It sets a precedent in the history of Kenya and misguides our youth that it is right to take by force anything from anyone. It was a vivid way of bringing to fruition the Hustlers versus Dynasties campaign calls of last year. This council expresses its shame and the shame of the entire Kikuyu community that the individuals responsible for the above horror where Kikuyu leaders comprising Ichongwa, Kuria, Ndindi, and Gachagua, among others. Ichongwa's direct threat to Uhuru to take over Kenyatta farms in Kiambu, Taveta, and Nakuru was a culmination of the animosity severally expressed by all four leaders against Uhuru Kenyatta. Their utterances and actions have made the Kikuyu community a laughing stock and the spite of other Kenyans. Apologizes to the Kenyan nation that we brought such persons into national leadership. We advise our voters to be extremely selective next time and not to bring into into leadership or into power this and other similar characters to the four men and a cohort of women leaders mps who as elders we are ashamed to name we ask the question which leaders of the kalenjin luo kamba Luya and other communities have insulted or ridiculed their leaders, e.g. Ruto, Raila, Kalonzo, Mudavadi, ETC, as you have done to Uhuru. 
What does he owe you as a person or even as a president of Kenya? So from that video, you can tell that all is not well in Kikuyu land. The, Luo, the Kikuyu Council of Elders have sent a strong message, and this message is directed at the three people that are mentioned. The question is very simple. What they are asking for is why is it that in the Kamba nation, the Luya nation, the Kisi nation, the Luo nation, the Kaleji nation, why is it that in these communities, those people are not fighting their leaders? Why is it that in Kikuyu, Kikuyus are fighting their own leader? And those council of elders fell short of saying that the only person they recognize as the kingpin of Mount Kenya is Uhuru Mwegea Kenyatta. The mistake that Kimani Ichungwa did on Monday, if at all that is true, will cost him dearly. And I think this is the reason why there is a lot of disquiet among a faction of the UDA, a camp. The people like Ndini Joro are not saying the things they used to say like the previous week when the previous week when Rela Morodinga exposed the, the people that were going to panga kitu ambosi osawa. So wamenyamaza completely. They are not saying a word. You see, the interview that was conducted, I think, two days ago or one day ago, Kimani Chungo was heard to be literally defending himself on those accusations. I could sense that in the tone of his voice, Kimani Chungwa was kind of apologetic, but was like a soldier who was not going to admit, but the words were full, full of someone who was trying to explain to the people what could have transpired or what transpired, but those are the kind of things that happen to someone who is panicking. So Kimani Ichungwa exposed his other side of panic. So he panicked, and that already exposed Gachagua, the panic exposed Ndindi Nyoro, and I think it also exposed William Ruto. So that was a terrible blunder. What Kimani Nichungwa did was a terrible blunder. He ought to have just stayed quiet and not have defended himself because a politician is someone who does calculations. You just don't just parrot. You don't just parrot about anything. So Ndindi Nyoro and the Kikuyu Council of Elders have distanced themselves from the utterances of, of Nini Nyoro. And in fact, if you listen to that video very well, and I'm going to play it again to you so that you can listen. If you listen to the video well, then you find that there is a part where the Kikuyu Council of Elders are telling people to forgive them for the thought that these were the people who would take them to somewhere. They said that Angalia Ruta Mekwachetu Sikunne Tatu so that was a message that is directed at Gadi Gachago and telling the people that and telling the Gadi Gachago that we might not have to vote for your government in 2027 because you've already indicated or shown us a bad side of you. Ladies and gentlemen, that statement was directed at Gadi Gachagua, and that statement must have hit Gadi Gachago, and that's why. There is a video I shared in my previous analysis where Rigezi Gachagua naongea na asira na asira nyingi. So this was akin to someone who is being faced or dogged by things that he, ought, he did not expect. Rigezi Gachagua did not expect that this would backfire on them. But the truth of the matter is that this thing has backfired on them. And now everybody is literally trying to say that they are the people who are responsible for what happened to a uh, former president so ladies and gentlemen, do you think the Kikuyu Council of Elders have made a point by the, the sentiments they made in that press conference? Can you share what your opinions are regarding those in the comment section? And once again, I'd like to urge any visitor who has not subscribed to this channel to please consider subscribing to Yolena TV. And also don't forget to give us a like and then you can hit the notification bell so that every time we upload any video you will always become the first person to get notified now ladies and gentlemen kindly stay safe stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis